Yeah, yeah, go on, video it. So Ben Holcomb, um, in the vibration lab at UTS Tech Lab, we're just recording a short video on how to use these um, lab-based power supplies. So if you just want to zoom in a little bit here, we can have a little look. So I've powered it up and um, it starts up in this state. We can, so I'm a little bit rusty, but we can change between the voltage here and the current here. This is a current limit. So if we know that we don't need to draw more than 0.2 amps, for example, we would set the current limit to 0.2. The voltage is, voltage is going to give us a voltage output. So in, in the case of powering, for example, one of these lab-based power supplies here, we know that this device runs on somewhere between 5 and 12, 5 and 13 volts. We're going to give it 10 volts. Nothing's running at the moment. I've just um, essentially turned it on. I can then connect my device. So there's no power coming out of here for the moment. The power comes out of here when we turn on the actual output with this button here. So now this is powering and it's got an output, it's constant voltage. We've got some memories as well, which we can store these settings, okay, individually. So I'll probably press and hold to, 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 to do some stores like an old style car radio, I suppose. Or here you can see some of the other Let's remove that temporarily here, you can see. So these are some of the other settings that have been previously stored. And um, so we're there on, yeah, 10 volts and 0.2 amps uh, limit. And then thankfully when I sc scroll through the menu there, it actually turned the thing off. So you don't destroy your, you'll notice I pulled the cable out just to prevent me, me from destroying whatever was connected, but it will turn off every time. So we just have to re, start it here and then hopefully that should now be powered there used to be a little led in there which would have indicated that this was powered um, but we'll confirm that when we connect our transducers to here and get our outputs from that um, you can use different configurations here to get plus and minus 10 volts if you need in some cases plus and minus 10 volts you might take 10 volts from one side and minus 10 volts from the other by connecting the cables in an opposite sense, for example, and there are various different configurations that you can do to achieve um, plus minus 10 volts using multiple channels. But those are advanced uh, advanced um, skills. We're just talking about general purpose use of a lab-based power supply, and that's enough for this video. Thank you.